All right, hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of our Stellaris playthrough as the Favarian Republic. We are currently looking at our scientist who is investigating the destroyed MSI warship hovering above our planet. So, last episode we made some good progress um, uh, building some infrastructure in and around our solar system and ex even expanding to a neighboring solar system. Um, we have been exploring uh, our neighboring stars um, with our scientists. We have now uh, four scientists in total, three of them exploring and one of them um, looking into the MSI warship. Um, and we are on the hunt for our guaranteed habitable world. I had that setting set to one, so we should find a savanna world somewhere near our um, starting system of Fevnor. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead, let's unpause the game, and let's see where today takes us. New archaeological site. Uh, here, let's see what this archaeological site is. We've discovered an ancient alien starship lying half buried in an asteroid crater. Glacial ice has inex inexorably spread across most of the ship, but we can easily access the airlock and search for any secrets hidden behind it. Wow. We'll definitely look into that. Abandoned thrusting. In the center of a particularly large crater on LA-478 lies a cluster of metal shapes, doubtlessly of alien origin. Science officer uh, Kale DeHen is convinced that they are massive planetoid, uh, mount planetoid mountable propulsion devices intended to push LA-478 from its orbit for purposes and destinations unknown. The ISS Yvaldum is on standby and its crew is ready to begin disassembly and analysis of the alleged propulsion systems with the hopes of improving our own thruster technology. Wow. Research I wonder why they would want to be propelling an asteroid somewhere. Seems like it's more trouble than it's worth. Um, we'll go ahead and pick a new engineering research. Um, I, I'm tempted by Corvette cost, but I also think that getting a strike craft is going to be good for us. Oh. That's... Um, we, for later, I guess. I don't know why I thought we needed to pick a new uh, technology. Uh, we can level up our scientist. Um, let's give them Romer 2 for increased survey speed. And we discovered exotic gases. During its survey of Terra Miranda 4, um, the ISS the Deering discovered several exotic gases previously unknown to us. These gases have a variety of different uses, particularly operation in advanced energy-based weaponry in force fields. Some of the gases can also be used as starship fuel or even as recreational drugs. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploration. Alright, I think we will. I'm all for getting some advanced resources. Who knows what, they'll, what we'll be able to do with them in the future. We have an idle leader. I'm guessing that's going to be our commanders. We haven't built up a military yet. Maybe that's something we should consider doing. System survey um, complete. Yeah, let's look at our um Let's look at our ship designer. So we have these missile class corvettes. System survey complete. Oh, I thought that gave us the research option for ion thrusters. This actually just gave us ion thrusters. That's fantastic. Um, our ships will be able to move more quickly now. Um, we still don't have any... Um, I like to put afterburners in this slot, so we'll just leave it open. The reactor booster isn't needed um, right now. Okay, well, um, in that case, we have our ships all ready to go and build, so we might as well queue up a few. So I'll go into fleet management. We will create a new fleet. Um... And we will add, we can serve up to 20, but System I think complete. we will start with just Construction complete. 20. Um, because that's our uh, naval cap. Hey, I think I found our um, guaranteed habitable world. And it's size 18. That's real Research good. Complete. That's real good for us. 
All right, uh, we got a lump sum of unity. We finished researching that. So let's go ahead and take, I really like pop growth speed and I really like society from researchers. Pop growth speed has gotta be the better one. Um, let's see, how's our capital doing? Uh, everything's going all right. We can probably replace this energy grid with Hmm. We don't really need amenities right now. Are we getting amenities from this? Yeah. So that will go down over time. Um, it might be worth getting some administrative offices. Um, or the autochthon mon monument. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the monument, I think. Um, and we're going to start clearing out this ship debris. Um, because that's going to give us a whole bunch of alloys that's going to help us, um, build up our military. I think every one of these clearing is like 150 alloys for free. Um, we had an anomaly, sorry, I didn't mean to click out of that. We are picking up what may be a faint, faint transmission coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of a gas giant. Could someone or something be trying to communicate? Inside a gas giant? I don't think that's likely, but we'll go ahead and check it out. It's just a little over a year. We can do that. And um, we made some progress boarding the, the MSI warship. Our construction crews are clearing debris, repairing damage, and securing rooms, turning the warship that once terrorized our world into a base of operations. Amidst the wreckage, we have uncovered the bodies of the ship's crew, or rather, what's left of them. What do we do with this? Well, what we do with these remains is a matter of public debate. Now, we could either dissect them or we could parade them through our cities. And um, as much as we, we uh, hate our former invaders, I think the more lucrative option is going to be to learn what we can from them by dissecting them. Because um, we don't know if they're coming back. Uh, we want to have the edge when they do. Um, I think... Complete. At the earliest possible convenience, we're going to get a colony ship up in queued so we can think about colonizing this world. 90% habitability, that's great. Uh, we'll look at the details Anomaly in just found. a second. Um, but right now, I think we're going to go for physics research from researchers to get our um, science up and going. Uh, initial scans of the asteroid 6467981 suggest a dense mass of wrought metal within it. Perhaps one perhaps part of some machinery or older technology. Further scanning is required for more detailed data. 150 days, yeah, let's check that out. We discovered another archeological site, the surface of Tuyubos, to Tuyubos is utterly without precedent in all our exploration to date. Vast geological areas from mountain ranges to entire continents are suddenly cut by shapes far too geometrically regular to be natural in origin. The otherwise natural looking environments are suddenly broken by the entirely flat plains, perfect triangles, and sharply angled corners. At present, any exploration of this baffling phenomenon is pure conjecture. Well, that can't be a coincidence. That's got to be some work of some advanced aliens. Construction complete. We will check that out, no doubt. Um, let's see. Let's get this construction ship moving over here, and let's go in here, and let's queue up our colony ship, and let's check out our new planet. Um, no rare deposits, and it looks like we have plenty of uh, energy districts, um, and a moderate amount of food and minerals. Maybe we'll make this a generator world or a factory world. Uh, machinery inside. As expected, the asteroid holds within it a great mass of metal and does indeed hide some manner of machinery. The gathered data clearly shows that its constituent parts contain the great quantities of stored energy, but its purpose remains unknown. So we could either proceed carefully and gently excavate the asteroid, or we could dispatch a probe to retrieve a sample. I think we better probe it first. We don't know what this machinery is for, though I have an inkling. The forceful probing proved unfortunate. Within the asteroid was hidden a host of old mining drones programmed to attack on site. The drones have picked up 
on the ISS the arms presence and are beginning to stir. There may be some time for an evasive mover, maneuver if the ISS the arm acts quickly. Is this the ISS the arm? Yeah, okay. Um, then I say we flee. So we're gonna go ahead and survey the system right now and get out of dodge. We'll have to take our military fleet up there to deal with whatever's coming out of that asteroid. Evading hostile fleet. Yeah, 1.2k. Um, I don't want to go this way. Let's turn you from evasive to passive for a second. And let's go this way. System survey complete. All right. And we have a new election for our, our government. Let's see who's favored to win this election. Looks like our current Commissary General is going to win a re-election, and I am all in support of that. He's been doing a good job so far. We can go ahead and put a commander in charge of our new fleet that we're building. Uh, we'll turn this science ship back to evasive, and he can survey the system. Uh, it's going to be a little while before we build a military fleet to 1.2k in order to challenge them, but we will get there eventually. For now, we'll just give that system some space. News of the events relating to the asteroid have reached the networks of Favaria. The scientific community has reacted with curiosity, posing questions as to why the drones were originally placed inside the asteroid. Were they guarding something? All right, Situation we are going to find updated. out what exactly they were doing there. Um, our science ship needs some orders. We'll go ahead and explore this system. And our construction ship can build an outpost. Uh, only two energy in this system? That is very, very lame. But it's better than nothing. At least it's got a planet, right? Ooh, and the planet has pretty rings. All right. Yep, and we're getting that unity and alloys from clearing all the ship debris on uh, Favaria. Ooh, this is a pretty looking planet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take leader experience gain or research station output. Let's go ahead and get some leader experience gain. Um, the bill. A small self-propelled cache just entered the edges of our home system, loudly announcing its arrival with a single beacon. Once retrieved, the cache revealed its grim contents, a lengthy list detailing all the military assets we destroyed during the war against our invaders complete with crew casualties and the estimated value of each destroyed vessel. Our former invaders are officially demanding war reparations. Are you kidding me? No. This despite the fact that we are the ones that, oh, sorry, that they are the ones who invaded us. Even more outrageously, they claim that all our destroyed ships in all their destroyed ships in our system are still their property in any attempt to destroy, refit, or retro-engineer the wreckage will put us in breach of our terms and conditions. A debt collection agency will soon contact to set us contact us to settle the matter. Looks like they're coming in on April 28th of 2215. That's 5 years from now. Well, situation log update. We're going to be ready for them when they come. They can try and collect the debt, but I don't think we're going to let them. We beat them once, we can beat them again. They just need to learn to leave us alone. All right, we'll go ahead Research and complete. reinforce this fleet. All right, so our Commissary General just got re-elected and we finished coil guns. I think we go for, I mean, all of these are good. I'm gonna go for afterburners, cause like I said, that's a pretty crucial part of my Corvette build. So we're gonna make sure all our Corvettes get afterburners uh, installed. Gas giant signal. Oh yeah, what was the signal coming from inside the gas giant? Uh, we picked up some curious readings from uh, Tunobo 2. There are some significant pockets of radiation in the gas giant's atmosphere that appear to be the result of intense orbital, bo orbital bombardment. What somebody could hope to gain by bombing a gas giant from orbit remains a mystery. As the ISS Dedirim was preparing to break orbit, science officer Bani Baeren discovered a weak signal coming from the planet's interior. 
It may be a transmission of some kind, but the gas giant's background radiation makes it difficult to isolate. We need to investigate this signal. Things coming from the core of a gas giant? That is Situation extremely log weird. So let's go ahead and see what this uh, special project is. We need a scientist to investigate it. So let's go ahead and find the gas giant. We'll take our nearest scientist and we will prepend um, that project. We can go ahead and build our mining station here. And um, we were going to build this autochthon monument in place of the energy grid, but I think before we do that, considering our consumer goods, we might want to get another industrial district queued up and put that first. Okay, our colony ship is ready to go. And we will go ahead and colonize our first planet. Um, now we could call it something boring like Nodro Prime, but I think it's, um, I think it's more fun to get a more unique sounding name. Yeah, let's call it Desadia. Our first colony, Desadia. What an exciting time. The aftermath of battle, as we scour the warship's central database, the designs of our former masters have grown clear. The way they approached us with enlightenment, only to train us to become better slaves? Their well-honed well plans and protocols, their calculated lies. Our world was clearly not their first attempt, but rather an example of their core business strategy. That is despicable. Absolutely despicable. We are going to need to teach them a lesson. Um, I think we're going to go up here and grab the Jotham system. Alright, and we've got our factions forming. Uh, so we've got the Valdari Preservation Block. Their members seek to assert the primacy of the Valdari species by curtailing the rights of aliens if necessary. That's going to be our xenophobic uh, faction. Um, okay. Special project complete. Is that it? We're just one faction? All right, let's see what happened with this um, gas giant. We isolated the weak signal that was coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Tonobo 2. It does indeed appear to be a transmission, and we have filtered it through our translation software. On screen. Wow, our very first contact with other aliens. Finally, well met, spacefarer. We are the Dathnak, and the planet you are orbiting is Talak Rong, our ancestral home. It is always riveting to meet a solid, even if our last encounter with your kind was somewhat problematic. Ah, that must be the orbital bombardment that we saw on the planet. You have no doubt detected the radiation surges coming from our atmosphere. Talak Rong is dying, and our species will perish unless we find a new home. We have identified a planet that will suit our physiology, but we have no means to get there. Sadly, our non-corporeal nature means we don't have much in the way of industry or technology. Will you help us? Wow, they want us to move their entire species from one planet to another. <sighs> if you have no technology, then how are we even speaking? Ah, but you are not the first solid to pay us a visit. Another spacefarer graciously donated a small subspace transmitter in a scanner array to us 2.9 million solar cycles ago. They had been designed to be compatible with our physiology. One of the more positive encounters we've had with your kind. I like how they're just assuming our kind just means like all solid beings are one kind together. What happened to your planet? Well, the last time solids visited us a few thousand cycles ago, things didn't go very well. They wanted us to embrace their religion, and we refused, and this triggered some kind of genocidal reaction. Completely unwarranted. Before we knew what was happening, they maneuvered their fleet into orbit and unleashed a massive bombardment. You want us to transport your entire species to another planet? Yes, and hopefully soon. Don't worry, there aren't too many of us. Most Dathnok died when our planet was bombarded, and those who survived retreated deeper into the atmosphere. 
Communication with the surface is difficult here, and the radiation is spreading. We don't have much time. Hmm. Do we want to involve ourselves with this other species, or should we leave them to their fate? It's a tragic story. Our people are definitely not too inclined to... Um, not too inclined to help out other aliens that we encounter, but... These guys seem harmless enough, right? They're just gas beings. They're not posing any threat to us. So, I don't see the harm in it. We'll help them relocate. Situation log updated. All right, let's check out what this uh, special project requires. Just need a science ship. All right. Well, let's take our scientist and let's get on it. Go ahead and relocate Anomaly them. Found. Maybe we can find some friendly relations with these aliens. A signal beacon orbits MF-140, beckoning travelers nearer. On the asteroid, a giant metal monolith looms, and its purpose is unknown. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what the signal beacon is. Yeah, I think helping them was the right call, even though our, our empire is uh, xenophobic. I think that's mainly a defensive stance, right? We want to assure our safety against any would-be threats, and I don't see these, these gas beings being a threat. Locker cleared. All right, we got we went ahead and cleared some more um, debris, and that gave us some unity and the option for space torpedoes. That's gonna be great. Researcher upkeep or research station output? We'll take the research station output to give ourselves some more research. Leader level output. Uh, uh, leader level up. This is gonna be our governor on our home world, so we could get council agenda speed. Or we could get um, edicts, edicts fun, and edicts upkeep. I like the edicts fun and edicts upkeep. Speaking of, I don't know if we actually have any edicts that we've enacted so far. Though we should, yeah, we should definitely be doing map the stars because this gives us extra survey speed, uh, survey speed and anomaly discovery chance, which is um, super good in the early game when we're doing all this exploration. We should have had this going the whole time. Uh, research subsidies is also pretty good, um, but it's really expensive in terms of um, upkeep. So I think we will take research subsidies only after we're done with Map the Stars. Once we've kind of done most of our exploration, we'll replace it with research subsidies. Mm -hmm. Mysterious monolith. The monolith we found dwarfs the science ship we sent to investigate it. A majestic smooth slab of metal. The once garish pigment patterns on the front have been reduced to mere flecks. A small power outlet on the machine's side promises its secrets will be unveiled in exchange for a modest sum of energy credits. 200 energy credits? Yeah. Let's see what this machine does. The machine stirs ancient me mechanisms clanking behind a smooth facade. After much whirring, buzzing, and a dramatic pause, a metallic panel slides back, and a ship-sized cylinder rolls out of the machine. The cylinder is empty, its content log evaporated through a corroded ceiling cap. The container itself is still in good shape, though, and the unknown alloy is on par with the metal we used to make our ships. Fascinating. I wonder what that was. We will never know. It's really too bad. Um, we have this construction ship moving up to build the um, outpost. System survey complete. But I think we could just use this construction ship here. I didn't realize that we have a scientist not doing anything. So I think we're gonna go ahead and have this scientist start exploring this way. Let's go ahead and research, uh, reinforce our fleet. Right? Right now we're at 447 fleet power and we need to get it big enough to deal with those... Um, Special project complete. Mining drones up here. 
Science Officer Gary Baerin has finished supervising the relocation of the Dothnok to the new home. A convoy of civilian freighters equipped with massive pressurized gas tanks ferried the gaseous beings across space and deposited them into the gas giant's atmosphere. Their ancient transmitter and scanner array were also brought along. Okay, we will seek to coexist peacefully with these, with these gaseous beings. We're forever in your debt. The planet has exceeded our expectations. For the first time in generations, our young can frolic in the upper atmosphere without starting to glow. We have decided to call our new home Baldurak after your species. Future generations of Dothnak shall always know the name of their saviors. Wait a second. Why not Baldurak? Really? I could have sworn. Apologies. But it can be difficult to tell you solids apart. I'm afraid it's too late to change the name now. It has been a nice ring to it, though, don't you think? Well, good luck. Maybe we'll encounter these Baldurak sometime during our uh, travels. System Find out who they were. Complete. Construction complete. All right, our science uh, science ship is done relocating them, so we can get back to um, exploring out this way. And we can start building some mining stations and research stations in Jaltham. Wonder, did that? It actually complete. did get named Baldurak, so we'll always remember which planet has Research the um, Dothnak. Oh, and it has a little um, a planetary modifier to uh, let us know that this is the Dothnak capital. All right, we got some alloys and unity from clearing some more um, ship debris. Yeah, five society research plus another four society research. Yeah. This, this system's gonna be great for us. Um, we'll go ahead and build research stations. We'll go ahead and build mining stations. And we can get gene clinics. Yes, I think gene clinics are gonna be real important for us. I like having those in all my worlds for the pop growth speed and the habitability. And the amenities, right? Okay, looks like our colony ship has Colonization Almost in made it. Yep. A great day for the Republic. Our colony ship has gently touched down on the sprawling savanna that covers most of Dasadia. The shimmering air is dry yet pleasant, and a large herd of docile herbivores can be seen observing from a distance as our first landing site is established. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first Valdar city on an ancient world. A great day for the Favarian Republic. Wow. This colony is going to grow to be Council agenda a ready. true pillar of our society. All right, we can go ahead and launch our agenda for um, evolving society giving us monthly unity plus 40 percent which is huge um, now we could take chart the unknown to give us anomalies discovery chance and survey speed or we could expand the counselor the council um, I mean I definitely think expanding the council is gonna be good for us yeah let's go ahead and expand the council um, in the meantime, when this um, planet finishes colonizing, I think we're going to hire a new System governor complete. to help out with the administration of our new colony. All right, and we can finish out the discovery tree um, by getting researcher upkeep minus 20%. This will help um, with our consumer goods. Um, and... Finishing the discovery tree gives us research speed plus 10% and it'll let us form a research cooperative federation if we want to. I don't know if we're going to be federating it all in this playthrough. Um, fantastic. We'll take an ascension perk and I think right now we're working on technological ascendancy. Um, we have been progressing so rapidly in the last few years because of our... Um, our visitors and all the exploration we've done. I think this is very fitting. We want to continue this momentum. Let it bring us through to the future.
All right, and a scientist leveled up. Let's go ahead and give this scientist... Well, we're gonna use this scientist as our archeologist, so I don't think we need anomaly discovery chance, but we could take Spark of Genius. And potentially that scientist could be our new head of research. I think we will go ahead and, and appoint that scientist as our new head of research. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the international political landscape of the Favarian Republic. Um, they call themselves the Citizen Self-Determinism Center. Their members work for equality and justice for all denizens of our empire. That's going to be our egalitarian faction. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's go to our government tab and let's choose our head of research to be the person with Spark of Genius. Okay. Okay, our construction ship is finished and maybe we'll move out here. I don't know if we immediately need to build in Mithar. We kind of want to see what's over here first. Um, our scientists leveled up. We can either give them more experience game or we can give them survey speed. We're going to give them survey speed. Okay. Unity and imp research option improved Corvette holes. Fantastic. Um, our faction leader has just leveled up and we can choose a specialist. Since this person is going to be administering our empire, um, we want a uh, counselor effect, not necessarily something that's actually going to help them command fleets. Yeah, so let's give them strategy, strategist. Um, this person is going to be making the strategy for our entire, um, entire empire as its leader. Military ship build speed plus 10%. Let's go ahead, reinforce our fleet. How are we going on afterburners? Two more months, we'll be able to upgrade our fleet with afterburners, which is going to be pretty huge. Let's see what the deal with our um, with our factions is. How much um, support and approval do they each have? Anomaly found. Unusual energy readings. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. Um, from Rovanic One. Where is Rovanic? Ah, okay. Let's go ahead and see what these unusual energy readings are, and let's see. Okay. So this is xenophobic and militarist, and we have 90% approval, and they also are the majority of our population. So that's pretty good. Um, they are upset about aggressive first contact protocols, and they want us to be oppressive subjugation policy, and I don't think we're going to do either of those things. They're happy enough with us. Let's see, why is our egalitarian faction unhappy with us? They want us to have a benevolent subjugation policy. Okay, that's fair. They want our ruler to be egalitarian. Well, you know, we can't necessarily always have that. We have other interests too. And they are not represented on the council. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we will have to revisit this council and make sure we have some egalitarian interests on it. So we have xenophobe, militarist, xenophobe, xenophobe. Yeah. Maybe when we get our new governor for our new colony, we'll make sure that governor is egalitarian and we can appoint them as um, whatever this new council, um, this new counselor ends up being. All right, unidentified object. A small rectangular object on the surface of this planet is detecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. Let's figure out what that is. Research complete. All right, we got our afterburners done. So, oh, a lot's happening right now. We could get Corvette hull points, we could get torpedoes. These research options are going to stay with us though because they're highlighted, so we don't need to take these immediately if we have something else we'd rather take. Such as mining station output plus 10% could be really good. Um, alternatively, getting armor could also be really good, especially because 
um, our ship design for corvettes uses just armor. Um, keeping in mind that we have visitors coming in just about two years from now to come collect debt from us. Let's go ahead. Well, that's not going to get done before they come. Uh, I still think it would be good to get upgrade our ships. Um, and then in terms of this, we could get research speed plus 5%. Just like a flat research speed increase. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're going to take that over the lasers. Um, archaeological site finished. Okay, let's see what is going on. We have gained complete control of the derelict warship systems. We now must decide what to do with it. Depending on our needs, it could be a powerful asset for either war or research. So we could turn it into a flagship or a habitat. Situation log updated. Now that's an important decision. A new place for our species to live or a uh, flagship for our military to show other empires they don't want to mess with us. We have advanced technology under our belt. Mm. I think in the short term, this is going to be really good for us. And I think in the long term, the habitat restoration is going to be better for us. Um, Yeah, I think we can build our own military. We don't need to rely on this alien technology to, to make our species strong. We are going to turn it into a habitat. We are going to live. Um, we're going to live over the uh, graveyard of our would-be conquerors. Yeah, let's go ahead and research this. All right. Fantastic. So we're going to work on repairing the MSI warship here and turning it into a, a nice new habitat. A micro singularity uh, recently intersected Ravenic 1, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further study may be warranted. Alright, further study we shall. We're going to build a research station here and figure out what we can about this encounter. Look at this gas giant. Look at the colors. Beautiful. While conducting surface scans of Shashamar 2, science officer um, and the crew of the ISS Dadarim discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Fascinating. Situation log updated. All right. So let's go ahead, let's find out where this um, alien mural is and let's figure out what it says. We'll use our nearby scientist, we'll prepend this job. Let's go ahead and research. What is this? Well, look at this nebula system. It's beautiful. And that skybox, wow. You know what? If we have debt collectors coming in two years, I think I also want to refit our space station. Right now our space station isn't doing much for us defensively, so I want to go ahead and replace this um, trade hub module. No, I want to replace that trade hub with a uh, gun battery. Um, so when they come, we will have a little more in the terms of uh, solar system defense. And we can level up our scientist, um, leader experience gain, or archaeology. I mean, I think we have archaeology covered. We have an archaeologist, so let's go ahead and get leader experience gain. All right. 
So this construction ship is finishing its last construction projects in the Jotham system, which is netting us a bunch system of new research. Complete. Um, we discovered a new archaeological site um, on Ronovic. Okay, surface scans of uh, Ravnik 5A picked up signs of a technological civilization Special that may project complete. Uh, have been active on the planet but has since gone extinct. We will need to mount a surface expedition to learn more. All right. We're definitely gonna f uh, look into that in the future. And science officer has managed to part uh, partially translate the alien mural discovered on Shashamar 2. It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region of the galaxy. Wow, it's our same region of the galaxy. They were apparently exterminated by the creators of the mural, a fact that they seem to regret. Given that the mural has been dated back in ex excess of 300 million years old, it is likely that its creators are also extinct by now. Perhaps most interesting of all is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its age, it is in remarkably c good condition. Amazing. Well, it's a good thing that they're probably long dead. I wouldn't want to encounter them. Alright, and we have a new faction, Knights of the Void. Their members have been pushing for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. That's got to be a militarist and authoritarian faction. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to a government, go to factions. And yeah, they only have 11% of our population, so we can probably ignore most of their um, interests. And um, I actually think this is a good place to uh, end the episode. We've made a lot of great progress. We have our second colony up and running, um, which is going to be huge for us. Um, we've continued exploring, and we've started converting the MSI warship into a new habitat for us. Um, hoping that was the right decision. I know we could have um, added it to our military, but I really don't think we're going to need that extra edge to our military to, to be able to defend ourselves. I think we'll take our defense into our own hands. Um, so we will go ahead and start the next episode by choosing a new tradition and um yeah seems like we're all good to go um uh, thank you for tuning in and uh i'll see you guys next time <laughs>